Well, look on his story of commentary for men black and national. <laughs> Shall we talk about a stupid movie that came out that no one cares about? So I'm going to eat my salad while we talk about it. Mm, that is the ultimate disrespectful move of Honest Taylor commentaries is like, Eating? I'm not I'm not taking a lunch break while, no. I'm going to try just as hard as Men in Black International did. But you, the viewer, get to watch us talk about our thought process behind all over time. <laughs> Took a big uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's very dry. Ruffage. <laughs> you sound like you sound like Mr. Uh, Plinkets when you eat. So deleted scenes, viewer questions and comments, and then a tease for not just next week's on trailer. Oh, we're doing a bonus trailer. You're gonna get oh, one tomorrow. Oh, so stop whining. You're gonna get more. Um, <laughs> all right. This movie sucked. Yeah. Uh, it was a good film. Yeah. I'm more concerned about the fact that I called him Plinkins and not Plinket than I am about talking about this. You stupid called him Mr. Movie. Plinkins? Yeah. Like oh, your lame Plinkins aunt. Is like his adorable, like. No, that was me being like your lame aunt trying to relate. Oh, no. Mr. I watched Plinkins. the internet. That was Mr. Plinkins and his pizza bagels. I mean, Very funny. Yeah, the older we get, it just happens. It's like my mother in law calls her Britney Spear. <laughs> you just don't care enough about, yeah, about just, uh, mm-hmm. your contemporaries or your or celebrities or whatever. Yeah. So. And the brain starts going. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of brain starting to go, Men in Black uh, International. This uh, movie yeah. just, I mean, they had a slot. They must have just had a release date and an IP uh, in their in their war chest and said, uh, oh, people like them in that their Marvel movie. Let's uh, put them in this one. The yeah. nicest thing I can say about this movie is that it exists. This was, <laughs> yeah. 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 This was uh, the closest I think we'll ever see to uh, people making a movie under duress. Like someone had a gun to everyone's head. They were all just trying to leave constantly or fix it and just no one wanted to be there. Yeah, I mean, as we bring up in the trailer, there's a, a as so often happens after a big critical and box office bomb happens, um, everybody starts blaming everyone else. That's my favorite and, and, part. And there's like a, there's like a nine sourced uh, uh, tell all article in one of the trades afterwards. Yep. And this one was no exception. Um, F. Gary Gray tried to leave a lot. Um, mm-hmm. There was uh, many drafts of the script that uh, were supposedly good and edgy, and like you got to imagine, there it was somewhat better to get those two to sign on right. in the first place. Yeah, but how could it have been? How could it have been made that much worse? Because one of the producers has final cut, uh, and, and there was just a lot of back and forth. And mm-hmm. you know, I guess it's a miracle that this ever came out. But you should just. You just don't have to make a movie. No, no. The, yeah, you can the, just stop. The, the dialogue—it was like it's the equivalent of like lorem ipsum. Like every punchline was mm-hmm. like, yeah. "I'm gonna write this in and fill it in for a joke later." Yep. Uh, we'll punch this up later, but none of it got punched up, so it's yeah. just—it's just bad. So it's hard to describe because it's like, like you when we're talking about a movie that's so boring and just so by the numbers, it's like describing the taste of water. It's like I can't tell yeah. you exactly <laughs> yeah. where it went wrong, except that like you just. Are watching people sleepwalk through an action buddy comedy. Yeah, it's very room temperature. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. which is weird because F. Gary Gray, as a director, like I've liked some of his movies. I've not liked some of his movies, but regardless, the one thing his movies always have is like a very kinetic energy and a propulsiveness to it. And like yeah. this felt like a you know a, like a one of those like nameless three name directors from the early 2000s mm. <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> well, i don't know like and the other paul the other anderson. paul anderson <laughs> yeah. or uh, whoever did uh, who paul ws anderson yeah, did yeah. he do resident evil i don't know well, well, I, I, just, i'll argue that because descript- even his movies have like rises and falls and differences in pacing and jokes and, yeah yeah i don't this was <sighs> The There's, fundamental thing, and I think Lon brought this up, who's elsewhere, but it was like, they, the main characters don't have a bit. No. You, no. If you have a buddy comedy, there's got to be a bit. Yeah. Right. One's this, one's that. If you're going to wear the uniforms, you got to sell the cookies. Yeah. you got to sell them cookies. And they were both two things. They were both yes. kind of snarky, but kind of dumb, mm-hmm. but kind of by the book, but kind right. of rebels. They were both brilliant, but also both stupid when the script needed them to be stupid. <laughs> yes. yeah. But it doesn't work. You can't have, you shouldn't really have one character like that. You certainly can't have two characters like right. that. Yeah. And then have them spend 90% of their time on screen together. Yeah. Right. Just being nothing. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely, uh, I think, yeah, like, F. Gary Gray was just like, no, I'm out. And then in the meantime, someone had to step up and just be like, well, just um, 
do whatever Taika Waititi told you to do in <laughs> Thor Ragnarok. You know, be charming. We got about 20 more minutes. You're in the suits. We got the set. There's a practical shoe puppet that's an alien next to you. You guys just uh, that, those shoes weren't practical. Do the Taika. <laughs> also, yeah. what alien would evolve to look like shoes? Never mind. Let's just take a big bite <laughs> of salad and watch Men in Black. International, the honest We also trailer. gotta talk about the third act button that we didn't put in the trailer. Oh, yeah. mm. we'll just stop that. We'll talk Let's about roll that. it. We'll get to it later. You've seen them visit outer space, secret prisons on the moon, even travel through time. <laughs> Now, wow. follow the men in black on their most exotic out-of-this-world destination. Pause. Yeah, you can go back to that little uh, uh, um, rocket bike. <laughs> you mean that stubbier Ray's uh, thing from yeah, Force Awakens? Force Awakens. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that little dick ship he's riding. Um, <laughs> they're, yep. They have this whole uh, uh, chase scene in, in a Marrakesh bazaar, which I believe is contractually mandated when you shoot in Marrakesh. <laughs> that the government says, you have to have a chase scene in the bazaar here, otherwise why are you even in America? We have a whole industry around extras that walk around with baskets. You've got to keep this industry alive. <laughs> so they're doing their bizarre thing, um, and you know, of course, like uh, he, he figures out, oh, this thing goes up as well. And you know, they've run through their cliches. I think they, a lot of people go to oh and dropped whatever they Fruit were holding. Stands have yeah. been up to a baskets are askew. <laughs> Fists have yeah. been shaken. A monkey chewed a date quizzically. I think. <laughs> Yeah. Old lady running, barely gets out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. after running through that, uh, he notices a big button on the bike. <laughs> it's just like, on his stubby <laughs> let's just oh. press this, and it just ends the scene. Well, just, this this <laughs> action sequence is over. Yeah, it was totally like, <laughs> let's go. We've run out of uh, uh, different, uh, the usual things you uh, do in a bazaar in Marrakesh. Uh, uh, perhaps this uh, get out of scene button will yes. help. Did you really? To go to the well, next plot point. It just teleports them like yeah. 50 miles to the south. Because I'm, I'm going to be very honest with you because this is Honest Trailers. There's large portions of this movie that I stopped watching. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm okay. You'd be forgiven to be like, you know, Marrakesh Bazaar Chase. Close eyes. 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm just gonna let the thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And then when I open my eyes, we'll be in the next scene. <laughs> Got which it. was the requisite, we're stranded, let's do some character development scene. Yeah. Um, oh boy. So yeah, it was a get out of scene button <laughs> that they built yes. into that dick ship that they're <laughs> taking off on. Well, we've written ourselves into a corner. Let's go. Let's go Ooh. teleport. Hi, hello, micro penis. Slightly right to the <laughs> Anyways, keep going. <laughs> Out of this world destination yet. Europe. Yay. Men in Black International. How dare you use that font? It, pause. The yeah, the font, that was the only thing they carried over that I liked. But <laughs> what was this movie called in Europe? <laughs> Men in Black like here. Here. <laughs> here. <laughs> It's not international. Like, it well, all took place in. Uh, it was London, Marrakesh, London, and uh, probably Paris. Vancouver. It was called Men in Black pre Brexit Europe? I guess so, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to look it up uh, here. Dan will find out. Let's I'm keep looking here. National. Governors in Black. Of a franchise built around Will Smith goofing on a bunch of grumpy white guys. Hey, old guys! But they're throwing out the proven formula in favor of something much more daring. Stick two beautiful people on screen together and hope they're funny. The world's not going to save itself. Are you saying that you need me to save the world? Uh-huh. Not so. Uh-oh. Pause. Seven. Now that sounds like a joke. It's right. told in a joke cadence. It's yeah. a placeholder for a joke to be written it's later. Almost <laughs> like an alien dressed as a person can almost sound like a person. Yeah. <laughs> I, and look, I don't deny that uh, I would laugh uproariously at anything either Chris Hemsworth or Tessa Thompson said to me in that cadence in person. Right. I'd yeah. be like, <laughs> 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 the pretty mouth made words. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, genius. Uh, but played back and through the magic of uh, yep. film and television. Oh, what do you got, Dan? Oh, in in the languages that I'm able to decipher in any way, uh, it, it was released largely as a Men in Black International around the world. <laughs> so wow, lazy. we are dicks. <laughs> it was. It was. It says in French. France, it was released as Men in Black International. It takes place in France! <laughs> <laughs> they go to the Eiffel Tower twice! <laughs> now to take a big bite of salad. <laughs> Keep playing. Not so. Uh-oh. Just have them give each other thumbs up instead. Let's just end the scene this way. Okay. 
moving on. I don't know what was harder for Taiga, making these two funny, or Hitler, Tessa Thompson. Now pause. I, that, that's the one line in the trailer that I'm like, meh, because I don't think anyone could have made any of this funny. No. Because like, I I, they are very talented, and, and I think in the hands of a production that cared or like bothered to, I don't know, get dressed or wear pants or remember to breathe on set, uh, they could have had a cool Men in Black movie. Like they're, but it, yeah, I don't know. Did they know none of it was landing? I guess you don't when you're making a movie. No. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard to look at it on the page and be like, I mean, yeah. but when your director is like, no, I don't want to do this, uh, like 20 <laughs> feet away, and everyone's like, you're contractually obligated. At I'll one, stay in the room, point, but I'm not directing. Yeah, <laughs> at some point, Tessa and Hemsworth are probably looking at each other like, this is bad. Like this is not yeah, good. Is not I'm buying a boat with this, but this is not. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. I don't know. Hemsworth has made me laugh in other things where he's playing like a himbo. You yes. Know? Mm -hmm. um, you can say it. Himbo. Ghostbusters. Oh, Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was the best part of Ghostbusters. He was funny in that. Uh, and um, you know, Thor. He's playing like a big dumb broy guy, and it's like Marvel funny. It's not yeah. actually funny. Um, and then there's. Uh, <laughs> That's fair. That's Tessa fair. Thompson is like quirky funny. Like, sorry to bother you. She was like crazy funny. Um, but mm. neither of them. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think that uh, are they? Are celebrities actually funny? Some are. Chris Evans, I think, is actually funny. Yeah. No, I don't know if Chris Hemsworth no. is actually funny. No, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't think Chris <laughs> Evans is funny. I challenge you, Chris Evans, make me laugh <laughs> without seeing your face. I can't look at you. <laughs> <laughs> we need the mass comedian. We, oh my God. Jeff Goldblum is actually funny. <laughs> Yeah, but Jeff Goldblum looks like a stand-up. Like, he's a gargoyle, like a sexy gargoyle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave the jokes for the rest of us. Uh, Will Ferrell is funny. Yeah, look at Will Ferrell. <laughs> I mean, so you mean like, you mean like, 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 are we talking about the, poster the, boy the, celebrities? Pretty to funny. In, in, yes, but scale. like, I, yeah, I, some people do violate that, but I don't think. John that. Hamm is funny. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it's right. Pretty, it's pretty John Ham's funny, but it's usually playing off the reality of like I'm John Ham. I mm. like sweat cologne and, <laughs> and like, <laughs> Spanish flies like oozing out of me. He's yeah. like, but John Ham's but, John Ham's can ham. It's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> but I, on the joke end again, it's like it's about having the bit and having someone direct them properly because there's no jokes in the other Men in Blacks. It's just Will Will riffing. saying mm. things and going ha ha. Yeah, but it's like the Woo! it's character based because it's like he's riffing yes. and then Tommy yeah. Lee Jones is it's funny like to have him react. To he knows that. his job. They yeah. both know their no they didn't know their job. Yeah, yeah. They, someone's yeah. got to be. They the had K. given them jobs to do. They could have done their jobs. Yeah, but yeah. no one gave them jobs. <laughs> give give our hot actors jobs, <laughs> please. And now we take a big bite of salad. <laughs> All right, keep going. I don't know what was harder for Taika making these two funny or Hitler. Tessa oh, Thompson is, a good line. is M, a code name that was thankfully still available. I can be Agent M. While Chris Hemsworth <laughs> is Agent H, a guy who's both great at his job. I mean, the best agent in the building. And a lazy screw up. Ah! Oops, sorry. So when this top agent slash total loser teams up with a rookie who's by the book slash completely reckless, the results will be so muddled, it'll feel like each actor hired their own personal screenwriter. Because they did. Yikes. I hope you didn't pay any extra for this one. I have nothing. I have no dog, no cat, definitely no chill. You remember the That men line in black, is for me, and I hate it. <laughs> with its own child separation policy. Look, I just want to see my kids. Come on. They've gone from protecting the galaxy to letting alien frat boys have their way with us. In short, he wants to be shown a good time. Are you uh, pimping me out to Vungus? But yes. when two aliens arrive who can disguise themselves as humans, you know, like every other alien, they'll use their powers to reshape the Earth around them, to steal a gun with the power to reshape the Earth around them. Because the Jababians trust them might be with a weaponized star to protect the yakety smackety and blah, blah, blah. But pause. I mean, how dumb is it that this movie, like the MacGuffin was like a gun that's a star. Yep. Yeah, but who cares? Like, the, it was a gun that could like shoot a hole in the ground, like a very large hole. Like we don't have that on Earth. Uh -oh. <laughs> Guns and bombs and stuff. Like they needed to come here to. It was a really powerful gun. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a big gun. Really, really big this bomb. one goes to eleven. Yeah. 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 <sighs> this one reshapes the Earth. Right. 
I don't know, man. Like, weren't the other Men in Blacks like they were about saving an entire galaxy? Yeah. Or yeah. Um, yes, they were. <laughs> and now it's arms dealing. <laughs> yeah, but like small arms dealing. They lost me at Jababian. J- yeah, that's, another that thing was where, made up. It's another that's placeholder. Not. Another placeholder thing. Yeah. It's like you know they'll call the aliens so stupid. Uh, Jababian. I mean, they're, they're, we'll change it later. They're, they're, they're little, so. Uh, <laughs> Why was this written by <laughs> Norm Macdonald's? <laughs> yeah, uh, Jababian. It's funny. It's funny it's, name. Uh, he's uh, he doesn't button his collar. All the way, because he's um, a slob. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> Remember when they go to Rebecca Ferguson's house for no reason? Yeah. Yeah. I did watch some of that. Yeah. Wasn't Beast there? Beast was Beast there. Beast was there. Mm-hmm. Beast was there. Um, <laughs> or uh, Sonic the Hedgehog? I don't know. <laughs> he's yoked out though. Sonic the yeah. Hank Hog. Yeah. That randomly happened to be the same alien that that she Tessa met. Thompson met when she was yes. a kid. And Who like remembered her. Yeah, and that. she like saved him, and then he like went on to kill a bunch of people. Yeah, was... yeah, no, he was like a yes. vicious killer, but yeah. but he liked her, so it was all good. It was all yeah, good. Stitch went dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Stitch, dark, went Stitch. Yeah. dark Stitch. Stitch got dark sided. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, man, you guys yeah. talking about dork stuff? We're working on one that's all about dork, 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 dork stuff. Dork things dork right now, stuff. but we'll tease that later. All right, mm-hmm. keep going. God with the power to reshape the Earth around them, because the Jababians trust them might be with a weaponized star to protect the Yakety Smackety and blah blah blah. Liam Neeson is a real bad guy at the end. There. Shocker. I just saved you two hours. Now go scroll through the Tessa Thompson Go Twitter. It's way more thought out, and mm-hmm. it's actually funny. And Sony just bought the movie rights, didn't they? Want to see them aliens? This movie's got them. And while some of them are racial caricatures, and some an of alien. them are beloved yeah. comedians, a male just got a on big the beard. Material. What is this, the sequel to The Notebook? All of them are extremely <laughs> horny. Sorry, buddy. He thinks you're hot. He's just so yummy. Human or? Doesn't matter. Why would they be attracted to us? Right? Between species. This is familiar, isn't it? How would you get around with an oh, arm sure. coming Gray out of the middle action. of the like, I, <laughs> Now, I, I'm conflicted here because I, I do still um, subscribe to uh, Donald Glover's uh, solo theory of there's so many things to have sex with in space that we would all be attracted to each other. Okay. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. But yeah, every <laughs> alien given a speaking line in these movies is very thirsty. That brief interaction, though, that you saw between Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth—that is the—that's the core of what's wrong with this movie. They're both—they're both trying to get the joke. Right. Like they're yeah. both. Yeah. The, the, the part is written so that they're both like jockeying mm-hmm. to be the one that lands the punchline. It's yep. like you can't have. It's like going to a boxing match, but the boxers just like shadow box in their corners. Oh my god! Is this like the, the and Fast like, and the Furious like them like, exchanging no, the equal no, amount of jokes? It's, it's like, like they hanging out to, with comedians. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, do you remember Mel Brooks, Dracula Dead and Loving It? There's a Probably scene. Probably not to the level of detail you do. No, you don't. <laughs> but there's a scene where Mel Brooks and uh, Leslie Nielsen are doing the we're both trying to get the last word bit. Mm. And it's just this dumb thing where, like, Mel Brooks gets the last word, and then 30 seconds later, like, L- Leslie Nielsen walks by outside and, like, he gets the last word. He's like, oh! And that's this whole movie. Mm. Just that scene from Mel Brooks. Deathfully un- underrated. Mm. Dracula dead and loving it. <laughs> if nothing else. Go watch Dragon the Dead. Let me. It has good. jokes in it. It's good. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah, I do like a comedy with jokes. Yeah. 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 After many they frust- go together. <laughs> it's really good. After many frustrating social engagements, I have instituted a three comedians or less rule uh, when it comes <laughs> to hanging me. out. I know it's uh, really, t- really tedious. Three delightful. Somehow four or more. I'm just boxed out. I'm it's just, a nightmare. I'm just, it's just a competition. It's so, like I'm watching a sporting match. I didn't buy. So a ticket you guys for. are not going to see our Herald team perform and come to the after oh, party. Oh, I got a thing. I, yeah. What night is it? Uh, We're really good. We've been crushing it? it at cage uh, match. It's so great. Yeah. What, uh, what, when is it My again? Every baby, Tuesday bro. and Thursday and uh, whatever night that you're on. We keep sending you all of the screenings. I have screenings yeah. those yeah, nights. It's baby oh, night. You know? Do you guys use your Facebook event? I deleted Facebook. You know, I get so many. I I might have seen it, but I have hard copy flyers. I don't, uh, oh, yeah, I yeah, and the next I, one's Bond theme, shaken not stirred. I'm sorry, I don't have hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Blood dripping out of his sleeves. <laughs> I'm just curious how it works between the species. This is familiar, isn't it? Are we sure F. Gary Gray actually directed this? Because it kind of feels like someone's trying to get fired. 
Oh. Happy lands on his feet. He doesn't so deserve dress this. up like the bouncer at a country club and fetishize guns like it didn't go out of style. Because once the 21 Jump Street crossover that fell through been. and yeah. Will Smith yeah. passed to do Bad Boys 3, you're about to experience the minimum viable studio product <laughs> that technically qualifies as a movie. Something is wrong. In men in black. <laughs> Morons in black, you ask me. Hey, could you just zap me with that forgetting thing, please? Uh, yeah, can I get my memory wipe too, please? Oh, whoa, my brain. What happened? Why am I in a recording booth? Ooh, they made a new Men in Black movie with Thor and Valkyrie? That sounds cool. Oh, poor John. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> no one tell Not him. him's no. worth it. Sorry to bother me. I did it for maybe a week, hoping <laughs> some men in black bastard would come out Just of the pub and have one. a go with me about something. Yeah. You know? Kumail not even trying to be funny. If like he couldn't even get a joke out, yeah. yeah. Nanny McFlee, James P. Sullivan, and the twins who also had to be in Cats? Man, 2019 oh. was not their year. Tough year to be a dancing twin. Men in black. <laughs> dancing <Ew>. twins. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this is the second Will Smith sequel to not actually feature Will Smith, but reference his character with an oil painting on the wall. In fact, right now, someone out there is working on his oil painting for Suicide Squad 2. Weird, right? I'm obsessed with that. Yeah. I am obsessed it's with so that. Weird. It's so, it's so specific. Mm -hmm. It's like so hyper what are specific. Why do you want to remind us of a better movie? Right. And, but just Via even, oil painting. Even that man, <laughs> like I remember watching Independence Day Resurgence, it was weird that they had like an, a painting of him on the wall in the White House. It was House. like a yeah. production still. It was like a there. production still. But like this one, again, it's like, is it? It's like. That it feels contract. contractual at this point. <laughs> like, if, if there's a Will Smith sequel that he is not himself in, he must be memorialized via specifically painting. via yeah. an oil painting. Oh yeah. my god, that'd be an amazing thing to have in a contract. He can do it. Maybe yeah. he's got a gallery that he's working on. <laughs> 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 an art show. Yeah. Maybe it just happens after they, after a big event happens in a movie, like in Ghostbusters 2, when that painting changes from Vigo to them right. saving the baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe this that happens. It'd be like a portrait of Dorian Gray thing where he has eternal youth because he keeps getting his soul trapped oh, in No, that's because he's black. Well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> but it could be, it could also be Dorian. I wonder what his one is going to be for, for Bright, too. Do you think it's going to be him and Joel Edgerton just driving? Yeah. Yes. And then at the at the precinct, they'll be like, that was the best cop that was the best we ever cop had we working ever had. with an orc cop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we had this painting made. Yeah. Oh. It's got to keep it going. He does. Have yeah. there been any other sequels that he hasn't been in that we need to retroactively put oil paintings well, in? There's already two. Suicide Squad 2 and Bright 2. I don't think he's right. in either one of those. No. Um, mm -hmm. But there's enough time for both of those. Yeah. The rest of them were okay. Ali 2? Are they doing an Ali 2? Is it like a so. queen thing where they or, or, or the crown type thing where they <laughs> they cast a new Ali every decade? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could get into that. I could actually get into that. Yeah. <laughs> huh. All right. Uh, well, yeah. Joe, you got one? After Earth. Not make another after. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't they know, had man. plans, man. They had plans. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. What happens after Earth? After Earth. <laughs> the after animals after get Earth. slightly bigger. <laughs> <laughs> the uh -oh. end. Uh, okay. Yeah, got nothing. Let's keep going. Maybe Jade. Oh, wait. Or I think we have uh, deleted scenes. Maybe Let's Jade paints them. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Oh, hmm. He's a good kid. Hmm. You're up. That's like a six hour flight from New York. Could you maybe try just a little bit harder, movie? Uh, Pause. Oops, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, that's perfect pausing. Uh, that train too. All right, this is some of those that didn't make the trailer. Okay. okay. So this 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 subway train pulls in, and it looks like a real actual subway train, right? Underneath Men in Black headquarters. Underneath Men in Black headquarters, and the only people that you ever see enter or exit the subway yes. train mm -hmm. are Men in Black mm -hmm. people or aliens, yep. right? So it, it would seem that this subway train is only meant. For aliens and men in black, people that know that men in black exist, correct? Going across the ocean. Going and but yes. then it it transforms and goes across the ocean. But my it point a space is, train, yeah. if it's a train that's only for men in black it connects people men and black aliens, headquarters to each other. Then why did it ever look mm -hmm, like a mm -hmm, subway mm -hmm, train, mm -hmm, other mm -hmm. than they wanted to do this expensive thing where it transforms and from being a subway train to a fancy and, men in black and train? And why build a train at all when those balls from Mortal Kombat 2 Annihilation <laughs> are available. already there, We're still sitting there. Uh, in the studio lot, just great grab on and get in yeah. that tunnel. Well, I, I agree with you, though, because um, Men in Black, it, yes, there was like this vast conspiracy thing, but it still smelt, it still smelt, it still uh, felt small enough mm. that it was a one in a million chance that Will Smith, this cop, chased this guy uh, and discovered that he wasn't alone in the universe. 
this movie Fantastic Beasts itself. Mm. Mm. Like now everything is an alien thing. Everything is men in black stuff. Every train is also secretly a men in black train. They have all kinds of divisions all yeah. worldwide. Yeah. Like, and it's just like, why would they break up men in black by country? They're like a planetary yeah. agency, if anyone. Um, yeah. If everything's gonna be men in black stuff, then just like drop the pretense that it's a secret thing and make the comedy that now Earth suddenly knows that like 60% of its population yeah. is aliens. And, yeah, and what are they gonna do about it? Why would the London branch name their own head a a obvious British pun that no one that actually lives in high Britain tea. high tea? Like yeah. I, that's a, that's an American making fun of the UK yeah. and then they yes. make it so that uh, they would like, the, the London office would never do that. Why but did like, the head of the American office hire a lady just cause the lady hit on her? And then yeah, gave her, yeah. she was yeah. like, you look good in a suit. Oh, she was okay. like, I'm giving you a gun. Well, that, here's the thing, what's confusing and infuriating And she's about British. That <laughs> she's British! So why is I got she so confused the... when she was like, I'm sending you to London. I was like, where are we? <laughs> admittedly, I had stopped paying attention and was like, we weren't already there? Yeah. No, why the, is Emma here? <laughs> this, the worst part is like the, she doesn't hire her because she like gets horned up, but she does. Um, she hires her. Off screen, she does this yes. ba a battery of tests. Like, remember the first Man in Black? Super fun. It's like Will Smith at the firing range. He just yeah. like yeah. plugs the little yeah. girl, and then like the uh, hijinks ensue. Uh, this one, it's off camera. And she's watching an iPad. She's watching. Uh, she's watching her her computer at her at her desk, and just like graphs show up. Like, good. <laughs> she's good. Yeah. Yeah. She's good. We all like her protagonist. She's like, over nine thousand. Yeah. 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 That, that's when she decided to hire her, which is. A dumb word yes. that I was gonna yeah. say. Yeah, and bad. she had a, and she had a gun before that, I think. Or no, getting a gun was part of the montage. Sorry, I'm really hung up on. Hey, rookie, here's your gun. Now go to orientation. God, keep playing. <laughs> What's up with that gun? <laughs> Hot yes, dude. Starring Star Thors. Regarding Tess's management, <laughs> high tea. Get it? Because he's in England? Uh, Roz El Dahl. Release the crappin'. Small <laughs> soldiers. I, I reserve the right to use there release no the crappin' for parts, something else. Yes. Only swole actors. Silly Pawn Pally. Yanni. Silicon Folly. Shiva. Nonsense and Sensibility. Sully. And Twins. <laughs> Men in Black. It's, it's Cruise it's Control. Weird. So we gotta get that cadence right. Euro Pride. <laughs> Thor and Valkyrie, far from home. Planetary International International Planetary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, there That's you it. go. Mm -hmm. yeah, we did it. That's Men in Black International. Mm -hmm. That's the last time you'll ever see or hear about it from us. But you guys <laughs> had things to say. Mm. Um, Fernandalar. Fernand. <laughs> Fernandlar. Jababian. <laughs> Jababian. Jababian. Why did people hate this movie? I'm sorry. I thought it was awesome and pretty funny. Oh, okay. cool. Good. I'm glad. I'm the video starts now. Yeah. <laughs> but you have to be okay with us thinking that yeah. it's not cool, that 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 it is yeah. not that. Yeah, I That's mean. That's fine. And I hope Sony still employs you. Um, <laughs> or whatever. All right, Andrew Fessner. Do you feel like Men in Black has enough gas in its creative tank to make more movies, or should they have stopped after three? Or one. Even. Or one. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I would vote for stop after I one. I personally would have loved to see the 21 Jump Street crossover. Yes, because I, I feel like they could have, you know, lampshaded the fact that, like, this is a two dead franchises. Yeah. 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 Just I think just forces. the pure weirdness and cynicism of that would have made it fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, should that flashy thingy, Mariko True writes, should that flashy thingy ever be invented? Which movie would the SJ panel members want erased uh, from personal memory? Awesome Probably. Powers 3. For me. Yeah, very specific. That's, yeah, that's mm -hmm. not good. Um, I'm trying to think of something that like actually makes me. Cats is off the table, by the way. I would never want to forget cats. I, I want, want more cats. More cats. No. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of something that like actively makes me mad. Bright made me mad, but now I, I've got a healthy distance from it, and it's a part of me. Mm -hmm. So I don't mm -hmm. want it to go <laughs> because the the Latinos were orcs, you see. Um, would it be possible that I would then go back and watch the movies again later, though, only to be re disappointed? Oh, yeah. see, that's the problem. That could happen. Intera yeah, yeah. You have to memento yourself, just like Danielle. Do not do go not see go Austin Powers three. Austin, <laughs> you know, watch Austin do Powers not trust three. its lies. 
Uh, Beyonce isn't worth it. <laughs> Cleopatra Jones killed my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah, know. I don't know. We'll have to think about that later. Trans I, I would never go see Transformers 5 if I didn't have to. So if you erased it from my memory, then I would never seek it out and watch it. Right. So that's that's one of the only yeah. ones that I would say without doubt that I would never seek out and watch on my own. So I'll say Transformers 5. Yeah. yeah. All right, fair enough. And then last one, uh, LT Netjack and Lance Turley both wrote in um, about how dumb it is that uh, the, the naming scheme for Men in Black agents, oh, I guess there's only 26 yep. agents yes. in the world. Are there branches in non-English speaking countries that use letters of their language? Are the letters reused if one dies or retires? So how do you refer to past agents without confusing them with other ones who've used the same letter? I agree. All great points. Yep. Great point, because there we've seen far more than 26 men, men and women, and women in black. Men's in black. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would watch, I, actually, you know what, I would watch the, uh, the the South American Men in Black with like Agent Enye, and uh, <laughs> I think that would be cool and yeah. much better. I did like that, Danielle, you referred to the, the ex-women moment in, uh, <sighs> in Dark, Dark Phoenix, Phoenix as the, this movie did very much the same thing, like, yeah. I'm gonna address the thing, but not really. Yeah, yeah. We, we, but we did it, internet. Right. <laughs> we said a, we said something that you'll recognize. But the thing was doubly inexplicable because it's like, on one hand, I thought Emma Thompson ran Men in Black, so she's like, I tried. And like it didn't work out. Yeah, but she's the yeah. boss. You're, and you're also, she's the boss. <laughs> she's in charge. Yeah. Who's up there saying? Is it the guy who reads the paper? Is, he like, <laughs> yeah. is it like a Milton situation where like some arbitrary contract says that he's in charge of naming? Right. Anyways. But, yeah. Dumb. Yeah. Couldn't she change it? You, one would think. Um, one would. I guess you can do puns. You can branch out into like high T. So it'd mm -hmm. be like. Maybe that's why they named him High T. Yeah, because mm -hmm. there was already a T. Also, but is there also like Governor? <laughs> yeah, there's special, Governor. special K. And, yeah, like, <laughs> why uh, are they called Men movies. in Black at all? Yeah. Like we started calling them Men in Black. Like some dude in Oklahoma was like, I swear to God, I seen them. Right. They were Men in Black. Yeah. Why would Why would they call themselves? Why, that? Yeah. yeah. You know what? We were already workshopping a few other names, but that works. Like, thanks, Jed. <laughs> it's weird yeah. to me. Oh man! All right, let's stop thinking or talking about this movie. Um, That's uh, way this, ahead of you. This week is uh, uh, one of our uh, most uh, prestigious, honest trailers yet. It's uh, Men in Black. Men in Black International. <laughs> International. <Yeah. laughs> More prestigious, again. dare I say, than Men in Black International. Ooh. We may or may not do a commentary. We'll see who's around. Mm. Uh, but we have another honest trailer coming out tomorrow. Ooh. Get your butts right back here, and then come back some point later for uh, some commentary of sorts. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Oh, and we're live after the Oscars, yeah. We're doing Oscars. a movie fight right after the Oscars, so if you listen this long, congratulations. Uh, watch the Oscars, then watch Screen Junkies, and see what happens then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.